Um, tomorrow in class, you're going to have to draw a net and of a box and label the dimensions and everything. So we're going to practice tonight. Um, find a box at your house. Mm, here's one. This box is too big. I don't want to use it. There's another box. This one might work. Okay, so it's a rectangular prism, which we've been working with, so it shouldn't be a problem. When I said find a box, I really meant find a rectangular prism. So anyway, so there it is. We're going to have to sketch this rectangular prism on a piece of paper and measure the dimensions. So you're, we're practicing for tomorrow. So first I'm going to take and measure all the dimensions on this box. Remember, it's a three-dimensional object. That means there's three dimensions. So I'm going to measure first the height. It is four inches. So I have to be four inches tall. It is nine inches long. And it is five inches wide. So, we're going to sketch this box. I need a face that is going to be this face right here, kind of the front of the box. And if we remember, we measured it's four inches tall, so there's got to be a face that's four inches tall. And then it's nine inches long. Obviously, my lines on this paper are not really four inches by nine inches because it wouldn't fit on this paper. Then the rest just close this face off. Now, that's just the front of this box. Now let's talk about the top, which would be right beside it. It's going to be five inches by nine inches. So this time, the line's still nine inches, but it's five inches long, or wide, a little bit more than the four inches that we had. Okay, working off still this front, we're going to go to the next side, which would be the bottom, and it should be the same size as the top, okay? So it's going to be five inches. And of course, it's still nine inches long. Now, there's only one more of these long rectangular faces that we have to find. We found the front, found the top, found the bottom. Now we need to find the back. The back should be the same as the front, so it's going to be four inches by nine inches. That's four of my faces. What two faces are left? Oh, the ends, okay? The ends are both the same size. So really, if I measure one, I should get both of them. And it's four inches, well, wait, five inches by four inches. So I could put it right here. There's my five inches, this side would be my four inches. And the same on the other side to give my other end. Now, here's what you've got to do tonight. You've got to do the same thing with your own box. So don't come with a paper that looks like this, because this is my work, not yours. So come with a different box. You don't have to actually bring the box but sketch it with all your dimensions on there and make sure that it's not this great value facial tissue box because then you'll be cheating. All right, thank you.